Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about one of the most requested videos I have ever gotten. Just the tips on the Hulong Heater. Now, the Hulong Heater is a primary weapon for the Heavy with the stats of plus 25% damage to burning players, and it pulses fire from all sides. However, this is all at the cost for minus 10% damage overall, and it consumes 4 ammo per second when spun up. So let's talk about this Fire Ring. Now, this Fire Ring goes off every 0.5 seconds. However, it starts 0.5 seconds after you fully revved, which this may not seem that bad, but more likely than not, by the time this Ring of Fire comes out, you'll have already killed your target, assuming you started firing right away. Either way, this Ring is not that useful, as it does 12 damage on hit, and over the span of 10 seconds does 80 damage in total. It's rare that you'll ever do this much damage from Afterburn, as Afterburn is quite easy to put out. Now this Ring of Fire really shines when you jump into a group of people, but it can also be helpful to give you a notification when someone's sneaking up behind you. Now given it's not always spot on, it has two bursts of fire for every one second, which is not a lot, it's quite easy to avoid. But, for every now and again you might hear it, it's kind of like a miniature Razorback almost for the heavy. Going back to jumping on a ton of players at once, this directly ties to the other upside, that is the plus 25% more damage to players on fire. So if you jump into a group of people, it will ignite those players on fire, thus allowing you to do more damage to those players, so you can just chow through a bunch of people at once. I want to address something someone mentioned in my comments from the last time I talked about the Hulong Heater, is that the 10% damage penalty comes before the plus 25% damage to burning players, so technically it does not do 25% more damage than the stock, it does 15% more damage in the stock to burning players. This may not seem like a lot, but this is only 5% less than the Brass Beast. So when fighting a burning player, this weapon should do somewhere in the range of 550 to 600 damage at close range, which is insanely big, especially because you ignite them at touching them point on. So if you ignite them with your ring, you'll probably do that much damage to them. But if that player is not on fire, it does 410 to 480 damage, which may I mention is more than damage than the Tommy Slot does at close range, so keep that in mind. Now what's this do for you? Well, it does a lot of damage at close range, or it works really well if you have a pyro who is able to light a lot of enemies on fire. How this works is that you can either play as flank heavy and basically have to light people on fire yourself with the ring of fire, or you have to be a much more passive heavy and target the players that are on fire from your friendly pyro. So I haven't mentioned the final downside, but just to recap, we have the plus 25% damage to burning players, the minus 10% damage overall, and it generates a firing every half second. The final downside is the 4 ammo consumed a second while revved. Basically, every two fire bursts from your Hulong, you lose four ammo. Something important to note here is that you will run out of ammo in 50 seconds if you stay constantly revved without even firing. What you can do to avoid this is either B-hop around, as it only starts to collect ammo after the entire rev down animation is played. Alternatively, if you're not as good as B-hopping as others, you can simply use a shotgun. Not to mention a shotgun provides higher mobility to the heavy, so it can really help you out if you're trying to be more flanky. But you should still try to use your minigun most of the time. Having a shotgun is a useful backup, but it's not the best primary. A good way to keep your ammo refilled, rather than just hogging all the ammo packs in the map, is to pick up that of the deceased, or just use an engineer's building. All in all, this weapon has its downsides, yes. But it can work insanely well and competitive if you give it a chance. I know, I know, it's a Hulong. You've been trained to think this weapon is bad, but just try it out, for me, come on. I'm willing to say this weapon is equal, if not better than the Tomislav. I know that's a bold statement, but I will stand with it. This weapon innovates more of a flanky heavy, or a more of a supportive heavy, which is not that common. Usually the heavy is just supposed to stand there and take damage, but with this you can have a different, fun, and really good playstyle. Either way, I hope you guys found this useful, or at least entertaining. As always, have a swell day, peace out.